Hello again, I am Blunty. So, Minecraft is coming to the Nintendo Switch this week, and I'm going to get it. I'm also going to stream it, at least on launch day, just to see what's up. Now, many of you already know, I am usually a PC Minecraft player. There's no question that it is the best version. Not just control-wise, but feature-wise, and update-wise, and modding-wise, and blah 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 blah. We've been through this. But the console versions have the benefit of being a nice level playing field. They're easy, they're accessible, they sell really well, and in the case of the Switch, it will be pretty awesome to be able to play it in handheld mode too. And considering how popular the Nintendo Switch is, I wouldn't be horribly surprised to find out that Minecraft on Switch will become the most popular way to play Minecraft on consoles. Now, while I have played the console editions, I own the PS4 and the Vita versions, I've spent hardly any time with them at all. Again, simply because the PC version is where I want to be. I mainly got them on the console out of curiosity and to make a couple of videos about them. So as unfamiliar as I am with the nitty gritty of Minecraft on the console, I was looking into the multiplayer situation today. On PC, it's super easy. You've got public servers, you've got private servers, you can even pretty easily host your own server or rent a world server from any one of dozens of places that specialize in precisely that. And aside from all that, you've also got Mojang's own official in-house solution for a persistent online world server in Minecraft Realms, which is a paid multiplayer server hosting service from Mojang themselves. It's pretty limited and it's made to make things super simple and streamlined. You can only have up to 10 people on any one Realms world at a time. There's no mods and stuff. It's mainly designed for small groups of friends and family. And in addition to the main Java-based PC, Mac, and Linux Minecraft versions, Realms is also available for the iOS and Android Pocket Editions, and the Windows 10 Edition. The Windows 10 Edition itself basically being the same code base as the Pocket Edition, which means you have cross-platform play, by the way. A Windows 10 user can be in the same Realms world as an iOS user, and a Gear VR user, and a Kindle Fire user, and an Android tablet user, all in the same world at the same time, on completely different devices, which is pretty cool. However, if you are a console edition player, you get boned on this. You get boned hard. There is just no way at all to have a persistent online multiplayer world. The only way online multiplayer works on consoles is peer-to-peer, -peer, meaning one person is the host and all the other people join the host's locally saved world, which then means if the host disconnects or crashes or just closes their game, everybody gets kicked off the multiplayer world. Nobody can play at all if the host isn't online, which sucks. And it makes no sense considering from Mojang's own numbers, published mid last year, the console edition sells at least as well as the pocket edition in almost every market, and the console editions outsell the PC edition by a significant margin. So with the console edition as popular as it is, why don't those players have the option for persistent online worlds to share? My bet is it might be something to do with the fact that uh, Mojang would have to give up some cash from each subscription to the individual storefront each month. So, you know, PlayStation are going to want their cut and Nintendo are going to want their cut. But then again, with Mojang being Microsoft's bitch, I have no idea why Xbone and X360 players can't have it. Either way, in this day and age of the huge and still swelling popularity of online multiplayer worlds, the fact that the console Minecraft players are still denied even the most basic and restrictive functions of 10-player realms is shitty. I took a bit of a look around and there is clearly a huge demand for it. I saw post after post after forum post after forum post and reddit post and reddit post of people just bitching and whining about why they can't have persistent multiplayer words on the console Minecraft edition version things. I cannot fathom why Microsoft and Mojang are so content to just leave subscription money on the table, especially when they go so hard on the one-off costs of DLC packs for the console editions. How does it not make business sense to get even a basic server subscription service up? Especially when Xbox themselves are on record just this week as claiming they're way, way, way more interested in pushing games as a service stuff over deep story driven single player experiences. And what else is a Minecraft Realms world but a terrific feed into that desperate need to pull in subscription money from a gamer's pocket each and every month? I'm bewildered we don't have it. Hopefully sometime soon we do get one that will allow cross-console play even, though given that would probably have to go through each console's individual friends service uh, system, I, I have no idea whether that's even possible, much less practical, but it would be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, the Pocket Edition players get to do that. And way back in 2014, by the way, console version developer 4J Studios claimed they were looking into a Realms service for consoles. This was even before the PS4 and Xbox One versions launched, by the way. 
but you know what? Looking into it is PR speak for no. Shut up. Stop asking that question. We don't have the answer you want. Please stop asking us. We don't like saying no, because the PR rules say it's bad to be negative. Nah. <sighs> so, you guys, exactly how eager are you for a persistent online world you can share with friends and family on your console edition Minecraft without the idiotic peer-to-peer -peer live host option we have now? Sound off in the down below area as per usual. Meanwhile, thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.